can't see. Wait, what? Bro. Good morning, Miss Heard. Good I, morning. It's really early, guys. Your relationship with Mr. Depp it's began really in early. 2011. Let me right. tell you something. That's correct. When you previously <laughs> testified multiple times under oath that yeah. the first year of your relationship with Mr. Depp was the best of times. Right, Miss Heard? That is correct. It's the worst of times you now, right? You testified that as far as you could tell, Mr. Depp was sober that first year. That is correct. That's what he used to believe. I don't think that's true. And that the first year was, quote, magic. Yes, I always uh, estimated it was about a year. Yeah, I, I don't think that he was sober for a whole year. That Mr. Depp was being violent with you throughout 2012, haven't you, Ms. Hurt? Volume up? No, sure. he took a break in the middle of 2012 when he was sober. You told them that he was hitting you in 2012, though. Is How's that right? That? He was hitting me in 2012. He just took a break in the middle. He, just, he took a break from hitting or took a break from dating? He was smashing dating? things around you, right? He did. And you told them that Mr. Depp was in and out of sobriety in 2012. That is correct. But I thought she you just told said... told the jury that in, two, quote, in 2012, what? I was in the beginning stages of this, just learning these patterns. I was learning that drinking kind of correlated with the violence. Learning the boss fight. Is that right? That is correct. The move set of this elder ward. So it was ward. during these cycles of violence in 2012 that you gave Mr. Depp a knife as a gift. I gave him a knife, um, I think, for a birthday present early in our relationship. I believe it was around 2012. That's what I would but give somebody certain. that was abusive towards me, is a knife. We've seen a picture of that knife, but I think we should bring out the real thing. Oh, great. Master Deputy Halusa, Master Deputy Sheriff Halusa, may I please have you... Show the knife. Brandish the Mr. weapon. I'll laugh. It's like this. Holy shit, that's big. Yes, that's it. That's the knife you gave to the man who was hitting you, right, Miss Heard? I wasn't worried he was going to stab me with it when I gave it to him, that's for certain. But you gave it to him while he was abusing you, allegedly. I gave it to him that year. Allegedly. Master Deputy Sheriff Lusa, will you please show the knife to the jury? That's a big knife. That's a big one. That's, you could say that's a mega knife. Thank you. <clears throat> this is the knife you gave to the man who would get drunk and violent with you, right? This is the same knife that I gave him as a present in 2012, yes. Yeah. Now, Ms. Heard, I'm going to need to talk to you about what happened in Australia in March of 2015. All right. You've testified that at some point during the incident you described, you witnessed Mr. Depp bashing a phone against a wall, right? That is correct. Oh you testified my God. that the phone was breaking into pieces. I was watching it disappear. That Mr. Depp smashed it, I think your word was smithereens. Yes, Ooh. that is correct. <laughs> and according to your testimony, That's hard this to was do. a wall-mounted phone in the bar area. That is correct. That's really hard to do. Let's take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1820. Okay, let's see it. I bet it's going to be a picture of the phone and it's not broken. How much do you want to bet? It's already been admitted into evidence. If we could have it published. Yeah, I bet that's what it's going to be. The guy, you know, that, I mean, just because, you know, like I kind of know how this whole song and dance is going at this point and it certainly seems like that's what's going to happen. Thank you. Wow. You saw this photo during your direct examination, right? That really good correct. job, you two. And you testified that the wall phone that you saw Mr. Depp smash is on the wall on the left. That's correct. So if you were looking at this picture, the wall, the wall mounted phone would have been behind you on the left hand side of your shoulder. But it's not depicted, depicted in this photo, correct? Whoever took this photo is standing right in front of where that um, mounted phone was. That's certainly convenient. Wow. That's convenient. That's um, what I was thinking. The pieces of the phone Mr. Depp smashed aren't in this picture either, right? You don't see it because it's whoever took this photo standing in front of that. Whoever took this photo, it's Mr. Ben King, correct? That's what I believe. Yeah. Mr. King yeah. testified under oath in this trial, it. right? That I is already correct. watched this last night. And he night. testified that there was no wall-mounted phone smashed to smithereens that he had to replace, correct? I didn't hear him testify to that, no. He did. The counsel elicited it. I disagree with that representation. You also saw this so picture. does reality. Actually, can we please bring out Defendant's yours. Exhibit 1821? Oh, here we go. Which is also admitted into evidence. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, there's one of the phones right there. You also saw this picture during your direct examination, correct? That is correct. And so this is the bar area to the right of the wall. Everybody's lying except described. her. Keep that in mind. If you were facing in that direction, if you're facing this direction, it would be behind you. This phone on the counter isn't the phone that got smashed to smithereens, is it? No, they brought that out um, during my testimony in the UK as well, and I said this in the UK trial as well, that that is not the phone. Right. Obviously, because that one's not smashed and it's not wall-mounted. Yeah, so there are two phones in the bar area. There, there was a wall-mounted phone. I don't know if it was decorative or what, but it was white, like it looked antique, large and antique. She said decorative and, because and they're not actually... The large and antique she has the phone logs of the house and she knows that there's two phones in is there. the one that mr depp damaged correct that is correct i only took pictures of the mirrors that's probably why So there's no picture of that damaged phone i didn't take a picture of it no okay so back to the phone smashing you watched mr depp smash the phone right that's correct i watched it and you testified that you were quote watching the phone every single time he pulled his hand back end quote that's correct she was very graphic to you, this is when mr depp lost the tip of his finger right it is my best guess i didn't notice his finger come off where'd it Obviously, go i was um watching him smash the phone uh, and watching the pieces break uh, while he was doing it but it was well, right here best guess miss heard that is my where'd best it go? Guess. okay let's go back to my question oh my god you submitted a declaration under the penalty of perjury in this case do you remember that that is correct okay let's look at that declaration Oh, good. Under the penalty of perjury. I wonder where she's going with this. I bet she's lying. Uh-oh. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, man. Wow, look at that. Was that all a list of all the times that she lied in court? No, it's too short. If we could direct your attention, Ms. Heard, to the page uh, 14 of the okay. declaration. Just page 14, yeah, of course. Is that your signature? Yes, it is. And your signature appears right under the statement, quote, I declare under penalty of perjury under the laws of the state of Virginia, that the foregoing is true and correct. That is correct. And this is dated April 10th, 2019. Correct. Now let's look at paragraph 16, which is on page five. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Specifically line 10. Quote, you write, testify under oath, while he was smashing the phone, Johnny severely injured his finger, cutting off the top of it, end quote. Damn. Did I read that correctly? Yes, that's correct. What an idiot. So you testified idiot. in this courtroom that after Mr. Depp smashed the phone, he held you down on the countertop by the neck. Do you remember that? I'm not quite sure the exact sequence of things, but yes, both of those things happened. Damn. Well, we'll get to the sequence. And this is when Mr. Depp supposedly assaulted you with a bottle, right? On the countertop, he assaulted me. So Mr. Depp was able to get you on the counter, right? He held me down by my neck. And hold you down by your neck. That is correct. Uh-huh. And he grabbed a bottle, according to you, by holding you down by the neck, correct? I'm sorry, can you clarify what you're asking me? While Mr. Depp is holding you by the neck against the countertop, he grabs a bottle. That's your testimony. No, those two things didn't happen at the exact same time, no. While he, so he's holding the bottle? Is that your testimony? He While holding, holding you down neck. by the neck? Sorry. What it's your obvious question? what... Your testimony is, Ms. Heard, that either he has the bottle not gonna get away. before or after he's holding you by the neck on the counter. Is that your testimony? He held me by the neck on the counter. And... Where's and? The that he assaulted At what point? With. While holding you down by your neck. When he was assaulting me with the bottle, it was in his hand. Was it in his hand before or after he holds you down by your neck? I was being held down while he assaulted me with the bottle. So you use both hands. When he puts you on the counter, does he have the bottle in his hand, yes or no? 
as I have always said, I don't remember exactly what happened first. Or I don't remember but I the wonder. sequence. I just remember being aware that I was being assaulted by a bottle while I was on the countertop. You know she's so getting God. penetrates you with this bottle. But you don't know how he got the bottle, right? That is correct. Okay. Uh -huh. And he did that right after he lost the tip of his right middle finger. Again, I don't remember the exact sequence of those events. We'll get to the sequence. Yeah, I'll Around tell you what it is. Eight to ten MDMA peel, pills, right? Yes. Let's talk about the sequence. Okay. This is the sequence of events you testified to in this courtroom. That he smashed the phone to smithereens and then assaulted you, lost the tip of his finger, and then assaulted Where'd you with it go? a bottle. Yes, that's the sequence of events that you testified to in this to be, courtroom. To be clear, you're putting it in order when you say words like then. I have never claimed that I can remember the exact sequence of these things. Well, this that's a, good. A multi-day assault that took place over three horrible days. Yeah. The worst thing ever Ms. happened Heard, to me. I we're don't not Ms. Heard, the exact that's not my question. My question isn't about the three-day assault. Allegedly he did it for three days? I'm just talking about the sexual assault that you now allege. It's a occurred. mega day. Yes, okay? correct. Let's talk about the sequence. Oh, good. Here we go. It's just so obvious. you testified. Actually. Do you have a copy? Yeah, I know. I just realized that. Do you have a copy? We gave it to you yesterday. Court transcript. It's just fucking obvious, man. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to get into the sequence. Yes. Did she refill a bottle of Fiji water with some purple drank? Yes, sir, do you have a copy of day 16 in front of you? Uh, day 16? Yes, of court my transcript. deposition? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, of the court transcript. <laughs> Imagine she's sipping on lean. Yes. I, I didn't realize that. This, yeah, okay. I do. Oh, no. Let's look at the transcript. So you testified on page, I'm getting there, 4506. Ah. Yeah. Best part is a female prosecuting her? Yeah, because you knew if a man was up there asking their questions, everybody on Twitter would be saying, and these publications would be saying it, it's sexism, and he should believe women, and it's so problematic that he's questioning a woman's okay. testimony. Okay. And it, the reason that you, we need you know to go I mean? through this, Ms. Hurd, is because we understand that these are That's very how stupid serious the world allegations is right that you're now. making, right? It was horrible what happened to me, yes. Absolutely. Okay. So let's go through them. Page 4506, line 2 through 3. I sit here now. Apologize. You testified on page 4506. This all started when Mr. Depp took 8 or 10 pills of MDMA, right? That is correct. Okay. Then, directing your attention to page 4518, line 19. You talk about Mr. Depp smashing a wall-mounted phone, correct? That is correct. Okay. Then on page 4519, at line 3, you testified that while Mr. Depp is smashing the phone, he is screaming, quote, I fucking hate you, end quote. I remember this. Right? We watched this. Yes, he, he was screaming that, among other things. Okay. Among and further other down things. on page 4519, same page, lines 12 through 19, you talk about how you watched Mr. Depp That's smash me, the phone you. to Sorry, see the guys. Right? That is correct. My OneDrive wasn't signed Then. Me. Continuing on on the same page, 4519, line 20, you say something really important. Quote, at some point, he's on top of me. No phone, but screaming the same thing, end quote. Yep. Right? I just remember the sound. Yes. But you remember, and you testified to the jury, that he didn't have the phone in his hand anymore. When he was assaulting me with the bottle, right. he had the bottle in his hand when he was punching the wall with the phone, he had the phone in his hand. When he was punching the wall next to my head, he had me by the throat. He did a lot of things that night. So you're acknowledging 
by this sequence, not my words, your words, Ms. Hurd, that you testified to this jury that Mr. Depp smashed the phone to smithereens before he assaulted you. That's have, the way, that's the sequencing in which you testified, correct? She's going to show the bottle. I have never testified that's what she's going to do. Sequence. Yeah, she's setting her up. Yeah, exactly. Keep talking yeah, she's getting sequence. set up for then this. Then on page 451. This is bad. <laughs> oh, no, this is bad. Starting at line three. You testified to being bent over backwards on the bar. Jesus. Right? Okay. They're like, please stop throwing the towel. Time out, time out, time out. This is too much. Please don't do this. Please. We know what you're going to do. Everybody knows it. It, it's so obvious what's going to happen, right? Because, like, she's going to clearly ask, ask, like, how the fuck did he fucking hold you down by your neck or hold the bottle and assault you with it after he just cut off his fucking finger? You see what I'm saying? Like, how did this even happen? It, it's, it's honestly setting him up for a burst phase. Yeah, like, this is clearly what's going to happen. Now, I think there's a possibility that she's trying to ask that because she's going to have a picture of the bottle the day after, and there's not going to be any blood on the bottle from his, uh, fr uh, from the fucking, uh, from his finger. You see what I'm saying? So, like, they probably have a picture of the bottle the day after this, and they're going to be like, well, she held you down, and there's no pictures on the bottle. You see what I'm saying? There's no blood on the bottle. That's probably what it is. Oh my God. Uh, she would have been covered in blood. Yeah, well, I know that. That's what happens whenever you go up against an Elden Lord. Like, that's what happens, man. What do you expect? Directing your attention, Ms. Heard, to page 4521, starting at line 3. Okay. You testified to being bent over backwards on the bar. Right? That is correct. Yeah. And then feeling pressure on your pubic bone like Mr. Depp was punching you. Yes? That's what I thought. And then further down. That's what I thought. On page 4521 and on to 4522, you testified that you were concerned Mr. Depp was using a broken bottle on you. Yes? That was my fear. Okay. That's what I remember feeling. Yeah. Ms. Hurd, I'm going to show you Defendant's Exhibit 1816. It's a nice She's hashtag. Been admitted. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. You saw this picture during your direct examination, right? I did. And you testified that this is a picture of the bottles that were next to Mr. Depp on a desk when you found him drinking in the morning, right? That's yes. That's correct. And this was the morning after Mr. Depp had allegedly sexually assaulted you, right? It was the morning after he did assault me, yes. Oh. And if I understood your testimony correctly, you testified that this is the maker's mark bottle that Mr. Depp sexually assaulted you with. Yeah. I this, was never sure. This one right here. It was, but it was definitely that shape. Yeah, I remember this. Like that shape. But you testified in this courtroom that you had not seen this bottle until Ben King provided these photographs, correct? And not in the course of the trial. I hadn't seen the photograph. Yeah, she said it upset her whenever she saw it. Remember that? You claim you had serious injuries after this alleged incident, right, Ms. Heard? Depends on what you would call serious. For me, um, you know, having a sore jaw and some bruises uh, at the time of my relationship wasn't that serious. That's true. Um, okay. Let's testify. Relative. Let's focus on the testimony that you gave about the injuries. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mr. Depp, as you testified yesterday, wears rings on every finger, right? Sometimes. I mean, often. And certainly in the later part of our relationship, that was more normal than not. But if he's filming or something like that, of course, he's not going to have his own jewelry on. Your testimony in this trial was, quote, I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Sometimes Correct. he was often. Yes. You need to put your microphone on. Exactly. Thank you. Objection, Your Honor. You. Improper impeachment. If she's going to ask her question, then she has to show where yep. that was. And then I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Thank you. Your testimony yesterday was, quote, I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Right, that's, Ms. Heard? That's what I testified to, yes. Yes, I remember that. And he that. was wearing rings on every finger in Australia, correct? Not all the time, not literally every single ring every single day, but he often wears rings. Nah. Not often, Ms. Heard. Your words are, I've never known Johnny not to wear rings on every finger. 
That is what I testified to. Okay. Oh, well, that's different than what's true. As a result of the sexual assault. We know that. Correct? That is correct. All right. And you testified that your forearms were cut. My forearms and my feet. And your feet were sliced up. That's correct. And you testified you had a bruise across your jaw. That is correct. And there is not a single medical record reflecting treatment for any of those injuries. Is there, Ms. Hurd? I didn't seek treatment. That's convenient. And the day after you to protect injuries, Johnny. Dr. David Kipper came to yeah. the house in Australia, right? Well, he came the third day. She was uh, protecting along him. with security. The day after you sustained these injuries, Ms. Dr. David Kipper came along with Nurse Debbie Lloyd, correct? Well, the f that fight went into the morning, like early hour morning, so technically that last day. Dr. David Kipper is Mr. Depp's, or was Mr. Depp's uh, physician, right? I believe he still is. But yes. he was at the time? Yes, that's correct. And he was also your physician? He also saw me. No, not saw you. Ah. He was your physician, correct, Ms. Hurd? Uh, Johnny was the client, but he also treated me. All right, let's please pull up. Here. Do you remember giving testimony in this case? Um, here we go. Ms. Hurd? Yes, I do. Okay. A couple. All right. Well, we gotta go back to the. Let's get back to the start. Let's go. If we could please. Uh, oh no. Pull up the deposition transcript, uh, day two. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, let's go back. Five eighty nine lines six through eight. <laughs> yeah, okay. check the logs. This is great. This is the best band appeal I've ever seen. Thank you. Oh no. I wonder what's going to be in the logs. I, does anybody want to guess what's um, going to be in the Your logs? Honor, we're going to play Ms. Hurd's deposition for the jury. Uh, line day two, page 540, I wonder, yeah, it's, it's such 69. a mystery. If we have permission to publish it. Excuse me, I, I'm sorry. Day two, page 589, line six through eight. All right, could you just give us a minute to get Of course. There? 589. Yeah. I'm sorry, what were the lines? Sorry, there's just so Page much bullshit in here, it's going to take a while to go through this whole thing, you know? Did you say 540 or 589? 589. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Lines 6 right. through 8. All right, thank okay. you. Thank That's you. Fine. I have no objection here. Thanks. And he was your doctor at this point, right? Yes, he was. Okay. Debbie Lloyd also came to the house that day. All right. Yes, she came with oh, There we go. All right. Now, Ms. now Lloyd is that's nurse, settled. Correct? That is correct. <laughs> Malcolm Connolly also came to the house that day. Yes, that's correct. Mr. Connolly is one of the security guards, correct? That is correct. You had known Mr. Connolly for oh, years God. at that point. Yes, that's correct. You flew back to Los Angeles the next day with Ben King. Is that right? I can't be certain if it was uh, the next day or the day after, but somewhere around there, yes. And the day you arrived back in Los Angeles, you saw Travis McGivern, correct? I don't recall seeing Travis, no. You don't recall Mr. McGivern picking you up from the airport with Ben King? I don't remember that, no. That's convenient. And the same day, you also saw I your own why. nurse, Erin Barem Filotti, that day, correct? The day you arrived in Los Angeles? I don't recall if I saw her that day. Doesn't you saw Ms. Pilates' testimony in this case by video deposition, correct? That is correct. And you heard her testify that she saw you the day you arrived back from Australia on March 9th, 2015. I believe she testified that she came to dinner where I was with friends. Yeah, I believe that. So she saw you that day? I believe that evening I saw her at dinner. Okay. And then you saw Aaron Baran Filotti again the next day for a private meeting, didn't you? Uh, I'm not sure if that if that's what she testified to. I'd have to just see the records. Not to sure. Know. Yeah. You heard her testify. According to her notes, she met with you privately on March 10th, 2015. She met with me at some point upon my arrival, but I don't remember the exact date. Uh huh. And when you were in Australia, Miss Heard, you didn't take any pictures of the injuries you claimed to have sustained, right? I did not take any pictures. No. That is. But convenient. you did take two pictures of the mirrors. I took yeah. two pictures of the bathroom mirrors that. Um, was the master bathroom where I was. Are we gonna pull them up? Let's please pull up Defendant's yep. Exhibit 374, which is already in evidence. Ah, look at that. Look at that, there it is, let's go, let's see it. Using her, it's you like- You took this picture, right, Miss Heard? Oh no. Yes, that's correct. And this is a mirror in the bathroom in Australia? That's correct. 
and this black paint on the mirror is from Mr. Depp. That is correct. He wrote on the mirror in black paint after his finger was cut off, right? Uh, yes, uh, I only know that because there was blood in his wall of paint. So you took this picture after Mr. Depp had injured his fingers, correct? This was while I was packing, when I was leaving. That, that's, that's a yes, right? That's when I took right? the photo. Misheard? That's... Ah. What's the question? I'm sorry. You took this picture after Mr. Depp had injured his finger. That's correct. Yeah. And you took this picture after you had allegedly been assaulted by Mr. Depp, yes? That's correct. Yeah, you didn't capture yourself in the mirror, did you? <laughs> I don't see myself in the mirror, no. Let's please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 375. Because you would think, you know, you would think. You took this picture as well, right, Ms. Hurd? Because it beat correct. the shit out of her, right? This is from one of the bathroom mirrors in Australia? That's correct. So this is also a picture taken after Mr. Depp had injured his finger? That's correct. And this is also a picture taken after you had allegedly been assaulted by Mr. Depp? That's correct. You didn't capture yourself in the mirror in this picture either, did you? I do not see myself in the mirror in that picture. Yes, she's a vampire. Is that because you didn't have any visible injuries on you? It's because I was taking a picture of the writing. Let's talk about the writing on this mirror. Okay, that's a good so idea. the writing in black paint is from Mr. Depp, correct? It's all from Mr. Depp. And it's your testimony under oath that you did not write the red text that says, quote, call Carly Simon, she said it better, babe, end that's, quote. That's correct. She's going to bring up... Because if you did write that, it means that your husband was walking around the house bleeding from his amputated finger, and you're writing snarky messages to him on a mirror, right? Uh-oh. I don't know what your question to me is. I'm sorry. She's going to just repeat it. Let's please take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 1830. Uh -oh. oh, God. Oh, no. I believe this, pic this picture is also admitted into evidence. That's correct. Wow. This is a picture of the same mirror, right? That's correct. But you didn't take this picture. No, I did not. This is the one that Ben King took. And I don't see him in the mirror either. He's, I don't believe he claimed he had injuries, though. Is that right? I did not hear uh, Ben King talk about his injuries. No. Ah! So you would agree, Ms. Heard, that the black tax on the mirror says, quote, Trying to, trying to be she smart. She naked photos of herself. That's so bad. Modern, so hot. I had not read that yet. I mean, before, but yeah, that's what it says. But you were taking pictures of the text, but you had not read that before? I haven't seen this. It didn't make sense to me at the time when I read it in person. Okay. Again, Mr. Depp wrote that. Uh, I don't know who else would have. I can think so of Mr. somebody. Just to be clear, it's your testimony that Mr. Depp also wrote the message in red about Carly Simon saying it better, right? Yeah, that's I correct. can think of someone. You know Carly Simon saying the song, You're So Vain, right? I was told that. So it's your testimony that Mr. Depp was writing messages to himself in the mirror back and forth. The best I can describe it is it looked like a crazy conversation. It was on the walls. It was with on himself. Yeah, it was yeah. On cushions. It's your testimony. A crazy, con crazy conversation, conversation with who? With himself. That's what it looked like okay. from the bloody messages I found. And you would agree with me that in this photograph, the red text has been smudged with black paint, right? Yes. Let's please pull up, if we can, Defendant's Exhibit 35, excuse me, 375 again. So, what happened? The box smudge isn't in this picture that you took, right? That's correct. So Mr. Depp must have not liked his own message to himself. I'm not quite sure what was happening when Ben took that, the, his photograph, no. Ah. Let's please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 343, which is already in evidence, and play the portion from 15721 is... through 15854. It's a recording, Your Honor. God, that's, and, this is bad. To get you mad is not to get, it's just to get out of a bad situation while it's happening before it gets worse. In Australia, when we had the big fight where I lost the tip of my finger, at least... Five bathrooms and two bedrooms I went to. To 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 avoid talking to me. To, to avoid escape working the, out. That's to the escape problem. the fight. You don't escape the fight. You escape the solution. No. You escape the solution. No. You s escape figuring it out. We cannot work it out if you run away to the bathroom every time. Listen to me. Listen to me. 
A boxer can't go 12 rounds without a fucking minute break. I'm not not giving you a minute break. You do it at minute three at the beginning of an argument. No. That's a good point. There are rounds, man. And when it gets too fucking hairy, the ref splits them apart or whatever. But I'm, I'm, all I'm saying is... That's true. You, 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 you can't have a solution if the argument just keeps mounting and mounting and mounting and mounting. Yep. I fucking go to the into the bathroom and sit on the floor. Oh, good. Bam, 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 bam. Here you come. I got a new list. I come out. A new list. Fight, fight, fight. Crazy. Escalated. I go I split again. I go to another fucking bathroom or a bedroom or something. Knock, knock, I knock. Got, I got to go bang, back to bang. the list. You kept coming to get me. Every... This is what really happened in Australia, isn't it, Miss Heard? Uh, I did knock on a bathroom door on the first night. Not a bathroom door, five bathroom doors, and two bedrooms. Uh, is Johnny that not right? is not an accurate historian of what happened during Ms. Heard, that. Uh, that's convenient. Ms. Heard, time on yeah. Ms. Heard, that's not my She's question. Like, ah. Five bathroom doors, two bedrooms. That's what you knocked on. I that's what there. actually happened in Australia, isn't it, Ms. Heard? I was there. So that's I remember it. I knocked on one bathroom door. I came on the first night after he decided to take the bag of MDMA. Ms. Heard, to check Ms. Heard, on and I'm going to move to strike everything after I knocked on one bathroom door. Yeah, she can't do that. She's answering the question. Uh, not quite, so I will sustain the objection. Yeah. Just answer the question, okay, ma'am? Yeah, just shut up and answer the question. Oh, my God. The recording we just listened to. This judge exactly knows what's what going on. in Australia. Mr. Depp lost the tip of his finger after you threw a bottle at him. Isn't that right? That is incorrect. You're the one who assaulted someone with a bottle in Australia. Isn't that right, Ms. Heard? I didn't assault Johnny in Australia. I didn't assault Johnny ever. I couldn't. And then after he was injured, he had to hide from you, right? That is incorrect. Five bathrooms, two bedrooms. That is incorrect. And you would pursue him. That is incorrect. Because he was avoiding talking to you, right? He did that first night when and he was I avoiding, tried to talk to him about the drugs. And he was avoiding working it out. No, he was uh, avoiding agreeing to not fight about the drugs. Yeah. You weren't scared of him at all, were you? I have a, uh, a mixed relationship with Johnny, and one in which I'm scared, one in which I love him very much. I'm not talking about your mixed relationship. That night in Australia, after you cut off his finger with a bottle, you weren't scared of him at all, were you? This is a man who tried to kill me. Of course, it's scary. He's also my uh -huh. husband. Ms. Heard, I'm going to show you what's been marked as Defendant's Exhibit 371. Oh, this is her own exhibit again. That's great. Her own evidence. This is bad. Do not believe these have been admitted into evidence. Oh, no, no I guess not. This is okay. special. This is vicious? Yeah, this is brutal, down, man. Please. No. Holy shit. Ms. Bretterhoff, if you don't have your microphone on, I cannot hear you. You still don't have it. That... Her lawyer didn't have the mic on again. I need to take a look at the unredacted for a minute. Man. All right. I'm not admitting it into evidence yet. I'd like to just oh, talk goodness. to the witness about it if I could. Thank you, Your Honor. Wow. Um, man. Ms. Heard, I'm going to show you what's in the defendant's exhibit 371. Do you recognize these text messages between you and uh, Dr. Cowan? I don't recognize these, no. No. Uh -huh. Who's Dr. Cowan? He was um, my therapist that uh, was recommended to me from Dr. Kipper. Uh, he and Dr. Kipper worked together. He was your therapist at the time, correct? That's correct. And you had been seeing him for almost a year in March of 2015? Uh... My guess would be about six months at that point. Oh, no. Your text messages are in gray, correct? Your Honor, I'm going, I'm going to ask that she show her the unredacted oh. so that she can see the text exchange back and right, forth if, if she wants to talk Absolutely. about right, moving we'll pull the that unredacted sure. later. Okay, here we go. We'll pull it up. 
Nap suck. All right, do you have the text? I mean, can't she can't she just throw in the towel? Like, I mean, this is bad. Seeing these unredacted messages, does this refresh your recollection that these are indeed communications between you and Dr. Cowan? Just call it a day. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Doctor, your text messages are in gray, correct? Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yes, that's Hopefully correct. Hopefully we'll be able and to Dr. see Cowan's this. Dr. are in blue? That is correct. Okay. You see the text message at the bottom of the page from March 8th? 2015 at 8:29 p.m. Yes, that's correct. March 8th is the day that you were allegedly sexually assaulted by Mr. Depp in Australia, correct? That is correct. Right. So on March 8th, 2015, you were in Australia. That is correct. And Mr. Depp's finger had just been cut off, right? That is correct. And you write to Dr. Cowan, quote, "I feel so lost. I can't talk." I don't know if I'll ever be able to change. End quote. Did I read that correctly? Ah. That's correct. You weren't able to change, were you, Miss Heard? I very much wanted to leave the relationship I was in, but I didn't. That's what have she the power. meant. I didn't feel I had the power to leave. I knew I was in a very toxic relationship with Johnny. I can't and believe I knew Johnny I would do to that. Change that. I knew it was at this point horrible for me. And I'm I talked to my to therapist often about that. Exhibit Horrible for me. Defendants Exhibit 371. How many fingers do you have? Just misheard messages. All right. Your Honor, I object because she has left out the next two lines from Ms. Heard that clarify even further. And I also think Ms. that Bredahoff, Dr. Cowan's... I, could you Your Honor, may we please approach? Okay, here we go. Yep, they're going to go and use the email. It, it's just done. Like, it, it's done. Why are you even... Like, if I was her lawyer, I'd be like, listen... We all knew this was gonna happen. It's time now. Let's just let's just get this over with, okay? I, I, I gotta get to lunch. You know, like I, how is it? We call it flogging a dead horse. You know, I think they have like 30 hours of this. I hope they use all 30 hours of it to just completely fucking degrade her. Like, just in every single sense of the word, everything possible, let's use all 60 hours, 61 hours, to just completely put her in the fucking dirt, man. Oh my god, I am excited to see this. It's gonna be great, man. Wow. She's lining up her perjury investigation? It, it's probably not gonna happen. I mean, I, I don't think so, but it's just that... She deserves it? Yes, yeah, she does deserve it because that's what she did to Johnny. That's the same thing that happened. I think this is so funny because remember like all those people who were like making the posts about it on Twitter and shit about how, oh, I can't believe people are just laughing and they don't believe her, her testimony. It's like, this is why. Like everybody saw these differences, right? I mean, like obviously they don't have the evidence that she does. And they don't have it all written down. But, like, I remember whenever everybody saw this shit happen, they were like, wait, well, but what about this? But I thought he just cut off his... Wait, what? Like, what What happened to the police? Where'd they go? But, but, but so, Johnny, wait, now, now we're in the next morning. I thought you were... I thought he was trying to beat down the door. You, you know what I mean? And, and so, yeah. This is, this is fucking funny, man. She's not allowed in Australia because she smuggled the dolls in? No, oh, that's, that's cute. So, Your Honor, if I'm going to move to admit Defendant's Exhibit 371 as redacted. All right, 371 in evidence as redacted okay. over objection. Let's see it. Yes, ma'am. We can publish that to the jury. Thank you. So you write, Ms. Heard, to Dr. Cowan, I feel so lost. I can't talk. I don't know if I'll ever be able to change. Right? And I said, I clearly can't figure this out, meaning the relationship. You didn't say that. You said, I did. Not the relationship. Your text messages. Clearly, I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. What I was saying to him. No, no, no. Clearly, Ms. Heard, I can't Ms. Heard, this Ms. Heard out that's not my question. Uh, the text. Just the text. That's exactly what, what I was saying. What you texted. Clearly, I can't figure this out. I feel so lost right now. Yeah. That's, that's what, what I was saying. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, yep, there we go. All right, that makes sense. 
Ms. Hurd, are you content? Your, Your Honor, just for clarification, so those two next lines did come in. They are in the redacted Okay, copy. good. All right, thank you. Ms. Hurd, do you contend that there's another incident of abuse in March of 2015 after you and Mr. Depp returned from Australia, is that correct? That's correct. And this is, incident took place on March 23rd, 2015? That's correct. And this supposedly occurred in the penthouse at the Eastern Columbia building? That's correct. You had found text messages between Mr. Depp and another woman, right? That is correct. So you confronted him about cheating on you? That's correct. And this was about two weeks after you had returned from Australia? That's correct. So this is shortly after Mr. Depp supposedly sexually assaulted you with a bottle, right? It was two weeks after he assaulted me, yes. And you decided to confront him about cheating on you? Um, I, I didn't decide to. I, 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 I wanted to. Uh -huh. Mr. Depp's finger was freshly injured at this point, right? He had a cast on it. The top of his right finger had been cut off two weeks prior? That is correct. And he had a pin in his finger, true? I don't recall when the pin was placed. A skin graft? I'm not quite sure. He had several different procedures, and they were kind of spread out over a period of time, so I don't remember what happened and when exactly. One of those exactly. procedures was to treat the MRSA that got on his finger, too, right? At some point, I knew he had an infection. Ugh. And his right hand was in a bandage, right? It was casted. God damn, that sucks. So it's your testimony that Mr. Depp was able to attack both you and your sister with his hand in that state, right? That is correct. He had a hard plaster cast on it. Debbie Lloyd was oh. present in the penthouses when Mr. Depp supposedly attacked That's you. That's not good. Isn't that correct? That's correct. In fact, you claim that Mr. Depp threw a Red Bull can at Miss Lloyd that evening. Yes, that's correct. And you put in a sworn statement Aye. to that effect in the UK case, right? That is correct. But that's not true, is it? That's what happened. You know what a deposition is, right, Ms. Hurd? I've had several, yes. Yeah, so you know it's when someone provides testimony under oath. That is correct. You're aware that Ms. Lloyd was deposed in connection with this case, correct? That's true. And Ms. Lloyd's deposition testimony was played earlier in this trial, right? I'm going to object, Your Honor, may we approach? Let's play it again. Let, let's play it again just so everybody can hear it. Yeah, exactly. Because it, it's just, why is she talking to the jury every time? Because she knows she can't win on logic, so she has to appeal to emotion by looking at them and making them feel sorry for her. Like, that's obviously what it is, right? That's what the whole thing was, uh, was built around. Yeah, so that's why she's looking at the jury. This is These people like this, they survive on other people's misplaced goodwill and sympathies. That's the only reason they exist, is they're just parasites.